In the previous episode, we talked about how to make images responsive and how to change the images using Bootstrap. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to do kind of the same thing, but using videos instead. So what I have here is inside my browser, I went ahead and found one of the videos I have on YouTube, and I went ahead and copied the iframe that we have inside, you know, the actual embed tag from YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this video using the iframe and insert it inside our website, which is right here. And instead of having images, I'm gonna go ahead and create a gallery using videos instead. So inside our code, what you guys will notice in order to get this responsive working using images, right now we just went ahead and took an image tag and added image responsive inside the class. Now when it comes to video, it's slightly different. So what I'm gonna do here just to show you guys is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the middle image inside the middle div we have inside the middle column, like so. Inside this column, in order to get videos responsive, we're gonna go ahead and add a div box. Now inside this div box, we're gonna go ahead and give it two different class names. So we're gonna say class, and the first one is going to be embed-responsive. Let's actually make sure we spell that correctly, like so. And when it comes to using the embed-responsive, I know we call it embed, but you can actually use this when it comes to iframe tags. You can use them when it comes to embed tags, video tags, and object tags. So you don't have to keep it inside embedded elements or embedded tags. You can actually use it whether it's videos or something else. So the second tag we need to have is where we need to decide what kind of format we want the video to be in. Now remember when it comes to video formats, we have the very standard one called 16 by nine, which is what we see inside our television screens today. But we also have the more square format, which is called four by three. So what we're gonna do here is because my videos on YouTube are 16 by nine, I'm gonna go ahead and say we have a embed dash responsive dash 16 by nine, like so. Just gonna make sure we move this out so you guys can see, there we go. And this is what we need to have in order to actually make whatever's inside this div box responsive. Well, we do actually need to have one more class, but you know, we need to have this div box around the actual elements. So inside the div tag, we're gonna go ahead and add the iframe that I copied from YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and say we have a iframe, which looks like this. And inside this iframe, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a class. So equal to double quotes. And inside this class, I'm gonna go ahead and say we have a embed responsive item. So we're gonna say embed dash responsive dash item, like so. Now if I were to go ahead and refresh the browser, what you guys will notice is that now we get the image replaced by a video, meaning that if I were to make this, you know, normal size, so we can actually see what is in here inside the gallery, you guys can see we now have a video instead of an image. Now we can actually go ahead and just copy what we have inside this uh, column in here, replace all the images inside our code. And what you guys will notice is that we do actually get a fully working gallery only using videos, like so. Let's actually go ahead and make sure that this looks correctly. There we go. And refresh. And then the last video, which is up here, we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Like so. And save it. So now we have three videos in here instead of having three images. And we can actually play these and we'll actually, you know, do stuff in YouTube. So this is how we can actually include iframes, embeds, videos, and objects inside Bootstrap and how to actually make them responsive and even make a gallery out of it if you want to. Of course, you don't have to make it into a gallery because right now, as you guys remember from the previous episode, the only reason we do actually have a padding going around the actual video is because the column it's inside of right now has a padding. So if you want it to go from left to right side of the screen, then you need to make sure you remove that padding using the technique we talked about in the previous episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.